Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through my morning skincare routine. These are the things that I do to make sure blemishes, acne and like hyperpigmentation don't occur or like come back. Obviously here and then I do get a few pimples but I'm going to show you exactly what I do to target it and get rid of it quickly. <sighs> I'm always out of breath when I do my intros. But yeah, it's a very simple routine, it's very inexpensive, it's very um, quick and easy, like it's really nothing complex you guys. I am literally not a dermatologist, I'm just someone that has found something that works for me and I just really hope it works for you guys as well. Um, so let me jump right into this video before I start waffling because we all know that's what I like to do. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't. So this is my skin without any makeup on at all, I literally have my eyebrows on. That's all I did and my lashes of course but that's it and I will give credit to this soap it's African black soap um, if you've watched my previous video you will see that I did talk about it it is very very good all those that don't know about this soap let me tell you a little bit about it so it is an all-natural soap it's got ingredients such as lemon lime juice honey aloe vera lemon juice water it is literally all natural like it's very very good and that's what i like about it it's very natural so you can't go wrong with it and i have very sensitive skin so literally everything makes me react but this has been a lifesaver rub the soap into my skin for like 20 seconds 20 seconds <laughs> like a minute i want to say i do like to moisturize i'm literally chatting so much right now i do like to rub in so cool motions like so because this soap is very very good guys and i love that it's natural so i never feel bad for like using it day and night whereas there are some soaps that are too strong that you can't use day and night because of like acids and stuff like that but this one is very very good so i'm gonna quickly go rinse my face and yes yeah. so this is what my face is looking like i've literally just rinsed it and this is how it looks it, i don't find it to be too drying or anything like that so that is always a good thing so really important guys i use this face mask from the ordinary it's a peeling solution and it's a very strong acid it is 30 percent aha and two percent bha so i use this and i do not go out on the sun after i use this it's very very important for you need for you to either wear a very strong sunscreen protection or don't go outside and i was going to go outside and i wear this and i just put this on my face for 10 minutes and then i let it dry this is very very good for texture on your face and it's very good for if you have light heads <laughs> if you have white hairs pores texture if you've got like flaky skin or something like that like it really does help it's helped me a lot and i use this like twice a month i want to say because it's very strong and typically i do use this like before i go to bed but i'm just showing you now because obviously this is the video I'm going to make. I will make a separate one at night time, but I just want to show you guys like the things I do in general. So yes, I do apply this. It is a very good product. And what I tend to do is your face needs to be completely dry by the way, you guys. So make sure it's not damp or anything when you use this face mask. I'd like two jobs. And then I just roll it in. that and i literally let this sit in for 10 minutes guys it's very important not to leave it for longer than 10 minutes because it is very strong it's an acid so be careful right guys so that has been 10 minutes now i literally set a time on my phone so i'm gonna quickly go rinse it off and show you my skin after all right guys so this is how my skin is looking right after the facial i do like this glow that it gives my skin and it adds like an instant brightening effect which i really like so it does work really well if you do have hyperpigmentation and you use it for a consistent period that is what i found i do absolutely love this facial guys like i've used it for like a year now if you haven't noticed i do like to air dry my face 
I don't use paper towels or like towels on my face. I know a few people like to dab paper towels, but I just like to air dry it because of bacteria and all of that. So this is literally what I do. And <laughs> just like that, my face is dry. I just really like the effect that it just gives my skin. Like, it's it's a brilliant face mask, you guys. Next, I'm going in with the Ordinary's Niacinamide. This product is amazing, guys. If you want even skin, if you want clear skin, if you want textureless skin, poreless skin, this is so key. Like. I'm actually not even hyping this product up because obviously this video is not sponsored, which it was. <laughs> um, Niacinamide is absolutely incredible for the skin. Like I can fully vouch for this. I used to have like really bad acne, but when I started using this, it literally like dries up the acne and then gets rid of it. Like I don't know how it does it. Like I don't know the terminology, but it is very good. So it is 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. Brilliant product. I just do the same like I did on the face mask. Just boom 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 <laughs> but this one is slightly different because i do not rub it in i pat it in please don't ask me why but i did see like some kind of instruction somewhere that you're supposed to pat it in i don't know why <laughs> but I tend to just follow things I see on the internet. No, I'm joking, but I think it is better to tap it into the skin rather than rubbing it. Um, but I sometimes, I have like tendency to rub, <laughs> but like it is good to tap. So just tap, 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 tap. So after the nice semi, I do love tea tree oil, you guys. Tea tree oil is amazing. I love it so much. Um, sorry for shouting, <laughs> it's just such an amazing product. So I get my tea tree oils from like Holland and Barrett, Amazon, Boots, everywhere. Tea tree oil is usually the same. Um, it is 100% essential oil, so that's the key difference, I guess. So what I do tend to do is mix it in with my moisturizer. I mix the tea tree oil in with my Aveeno, and I'm gonna explain why this moisturizer is incredible. So I literally just take, just dab like a little bit there, and then I do mix it together like so, and then I apply it onto my skin. And I'm gonna explain why this combination is like the best combo ever, guys. Tea tree oil is, ugh, it's a fantastic oil, guys. That's all I can say. It has worked wonders for my skin and like instantly. That's the craziest part. Like it's something that for me it works overnight. Like if I have a pimple, like right now I have this pimple and I'm going to put tea tree oil on it um, before I go to bed, like directly. And like when I wake up, it's literally like dried and then the next day the pimple is gone. Like I know that sounds crazy, but it really, really good guys. Like try it out and let me know how it works for you because for me it has been a lifesaver. So really quickly, um, Avino, if you don't know about it, it is an oatmeal moisturizer. It is for normal to dry skin, but I love it because I have like combination skin and I used to have oily skin. I don't know what changed, maybe it was my diet. But ever since I started using Avino, yeah, my skin has been moisturized. It's got all the nourishments it needs. It is really good, boys. What I find is if you use certain acids and like um, some serums, they can be very drying. So it can like ruin your skin's barrier. So you need to recover that. So Avino actually does that for you. So you just need to find like a very moisturizing lotion. Um, so yeah, try it out, guys. Now, because I'm going out in the sun, like I said, I wouldn't do. Um, I don't have sunscreen. I literally ran out of sunscreen and um, sunscreen is very important, guys. Like, it is very, very key. Like, I don't even know how to stress that out. So what I find is a good substitute. I would say substitute very lightly because I know I'm going to get attacked in the comments. But aloe vera works as like a natural 
sunscreen I do believe um, this is something that's worked for me but like I don't do it often but aloe vera itself is good it's got loads of like healing properties and like especially after using like acids like so you do need something that has healing properties and this Avino also has healing properties so does the tea tree oil so the general idea here is to apply things that have healing properties onto it so i use this aloe vera i got it from home and bright i do believe um so i apply this onto my skin i apply quite like a thick layer and i make sure i get under my eyes because guys you don't even need eye cream you just need a lot of um moisture save your coins guys <laughs> um then i apply it onto here <sighs> guys over it is very cute so since this video is mainly about blemishes and like things like that i will tell you guys that aloe vera is very good at removing scarring blemishes like pigmentation it is very very good and it is good protection from the sun obviously i don't recommend using this instead of sunscreen guys that is not what i'm saying please um but i'm saying that this works for me if i have to like make a quick run to the shops and i don't have sunscreen i know i got my aloe vera um so now what i like to do is i like to moisturize my lips and i literally use vaseline guys i use vaseline ever since i was a kid it is very good to moisturize your lips do not forget that's it <laughs> that's literally my skincare routine in a nutshell like there is nothing complex it's very simple it's affordable in my opinion and it is very accessible because all these products you can find online or in like a local shop like it's it's nothing crazy guys um and that's all i do so just like that my skincare routine is done i can go and start my day i do hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it please make sure you leave a thumbs up um subscribe if you haven't and i will try my best to release new content every week i need to be consistent guys thank you for your support <laughs>